My name is Roman Schelling. I'm representing Ukrainian Armor Enterprise. Here we are present on the now the booth, the National Association of Ukrainian Defense Industry, the association which unites more than 65 private defense industry enterprises in Ukraine with the most advanced and high performance solution uh, widely used right now by the Ukrainian armed forces on the front line. So here uh, on our booth, uh, we have more than five brand new innovative products, such as the new MRAP Varta 2 with the uh, ballistic level of protection, Stanek level 3, and mine resistant level 3 Stanek as well, with a 30 millimeter remotely controlled weapon station. We are proud to present here the first unmanned ground vehicle, uh, which was totally done by the requirements, according to the requirements of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine. We are planning it's going to be widely used as a multi-purpose uh, robotics platform by the land forces of Ukraine. Uh, right now, uh, as we can see, the challenging situation on the front line and uh, in order to save people's life and soldiers' life, we are switching to use the unmanned aerial and uh, uh, land systems and vehicles. Plus, we definitely produce the countermeasures as electronic warfare systems in order to withstand the modern threats and all the UAVs and FPVs which are used against our uh, armed forces as well. So here we have the brand new uh, loitering munition complex presented by Athlon Avia Company. We do have the reconnaissance complexes by Ukraspec Systems, Shark, Mini Shark, PD2. We have different variety of the brand new uh, FURIA 2 and FURIA 1 UAVs. Uh, which are widely used by the armed forces of Ukraine. We have uh, PD-2, the loitering munition complex as well, and we have the most advanced electronic warfare systems made by our company Quertus, which is uh, used by the soldiers or the APCs in order to avoid the threats, uh, aerial threats like an FPV drones or the reconnaissance drones. I believe that my colleagues will tell you in details regarding these new products. Good day. Uh, we are uh, Quertus company. We are producers of jamming and detection systems. Uh, basically, we are the biggest producers of such systems in Ukraine. We are working with uh, Ministry of Defense, National Police, uh, Border Guards, and etc. Uh, all our equipment just now combat proven and supplying directly to war. We divided uh, all our range for three categories. The first category, this is for the soldiers in movement. Uh, the uh, FPV drones, they are searching for the soldiers and try to wound it or kill them, unfortunately. For such missions, we make the backpacks and the anti-drone guns. They make the dome. When the drone comes inside the dome, the drone falls uh, down like a stone. The next category of our equipment is a stationary one. We are, uh, mount this equipment on Armor vehicle, trucks, oil trucks, heavy vehicles, Abrams, Bradley, VH-60, uh, Varta, Kazakh, and etc. They are all equipped by our uh, products range. If we speak about the backpacks for the soldiers, the, the backpack works uh, autonomically uh, three hours. We have like a standards for the dome. The domes for the small group must be not more than 300 meters because also, at the front line, we have our own drones. And to accept the friendly fire, to suppress of your own drones, you need to cover. 300 meters, trust me, 300 meters, it's more than enough to, to cover the small group. And, the small, and this group can go and take back the wounded soldiers, died soldiers, to go from the point A to point B at night, to take ammunition, foods, and etc., etc., etc. 
this is the G6 Plus, the famous anti-drone gun, more than 4,000 items just now at war. This is universal uh, anti-drone gun, so it suppress simultaneously six frequencies. This is the new anti-drone gun, uh, much more powerful, 50 watts. Uh, it will be in two areas. First, from, from FPV to suppress FPV drones, and the second one, one suppress the uh, bombers. Uh, maximum distance is uh, two kilometers, directional antenna. Also, we have uh, the detection system. Uh, this is the eyes, passive one, the enemy doesn't see it. This is the optional and the fastest passive system in the world. So 300 items at war combined in one network and you can see in real time what for now happens at the front line. Okay, thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Here we represent three of our products. So smallest one, it's a mini shark. So all of them was created for intelligence and reconnaissance, but in our situation in Ukraine, usually it's used for search and rescue operation, but mainly it's for correction artillery. All of them work with artillery, MLRS system, and so on. So this is our smallest version. It's a mini shark. It's able to fly up to 2.5 hours at control a distance up to 35 kilometers. Maximum altitude is 3,000 meters. It's available with both cameras. It's day cameras with 10x zoom and also available uh, night cameras with 4x digital zoom. All of these products has protective communication, work in jamming, work in spoofing. So all features already available. It has modular platform and can carry in two backpacks. One backpack include two EVs, second one include uh, ground control station. So here is PD2E. It's our second generation of such type of UEV before we have PD1. Now it's updated with whole features, whole technology which we have in our portfolio. It's a flagship. It's able to fly at a distance 180 kilometers, maximum ceiling in 5,000 meters above sea level, total flight time up to 10 hours. It's a modular platform which can be able to fly it in fixed wing and VTOL. So it's not like a separate UAVs, it's the same. It can carry up to 11 uh, kilos of payload. We provide our solutions with day and night cameras, length, range finder, and aero photo package power consumption for this equipment up to 300 watts. It can be uh, used for LiDAR integration, SARADAR repeater, so it uh, depends on type of payload you can change the mission for this type of UV. It's not like only reconnaissance but can use on commercial version or military. It depends from situation. Here we have Shark UAV. It was developed in first months of full-scale war. Our military wants something electricity, some smaller and quiet. So in general we use all technology which we have in PD2 and install inside Shark UAV. So it's developed it earlier 2022. It's able to fly at a distance 80 kilometers. Also have all protective communication features. It's available in day and night cameras, like separately, and be also available with both inside in this gimbal. 3,000 meters protective communication. And nowadays I can say that it's most lovely UAV for our artillery. If we compare Shark and Mini Shark, uh, Shark has 30x op uh, optical zoom. In day camera, he has more powerful protecting feature against jamming and spoofing. The same technology which we have in PD2. Flight time up to four hours, and in the beginning on 2025, we will present new product, which will be able to fly up to seven hours. Shark is almost PD2, but with electrical engine. It's fully designed, developed in Ukraine. Moreover, we company which produce all products in-house. When we fulfill all needs for our military, we'll be able to speak or provide our products to foreign countries. Nowadays, our main mission to cover all needs for our army uh, and win the war. Pleasure to meet you. My name is Gennady Miasnikov. I'm Chief Commercial Officer at Atonavia. So basically, we are one of the oldest UAV producers in Ukraine. We were founded back in uh, 2014. And our first drone, FURIA, which you can see there, 
was adopted by Ukrainian armed forces in 2016, being the first ever drone to be adopted by Ukrainian armed forces. Since then, FURIA got some several modifications and is present in today's uh, form in, uh, in a UAV system named A1SM Fury. And it is an uh, artillery adjustment reconnaissance drone. So it basically identifies targets, sees targets and uh, serves as a fire correction for towed artillery. Because of the war in Ukraine, we faced numerous uh, challenges. The first one being that we need to adjust not only towed artillery, but now and missile artillery as well. And uh, for that, we need a longer range and a much longer endurance in the sky. That's why we created an absolutely new UAV named Fury 2. You can see it up there. This is Fury 1. It has up to two hours of uh, endurance in the sky. It has up to 50 kilometers range, a 10x uh, optical uh, digital zoom. This version is quite old right now. Challenges to war made us uh, produce the new version of Fury, which is 3.6 meter swing span. We'll have a communication range of up to 100 kilometers and we'll have uh, up to six hours of flight. The most crucial thing is to identify target and see a good strike and return back. It is designed to operate in uh, denial circumstances and successfully return back on autopilot. So this system will fully replace the smaller one in our complexes uh, in 2025. Right away we, see, uh, we can see the ST-35 Thunder UAV. It's our first loiter ammunition. It's quite similar to a lot of drones out there in, in its form because it's X-Wing. The unique feature is that it's carried out by a multi-copter, then it is ejected by a copter, and copter stays in the sky stationary and acts as a relay. And basically this is the uh, loiter ammunition with 3.5 warhead. It will be used to eliminate valuable targets and uh, personnel. Flight duration is uh, up to one hour. We we've tested the probability of successful hit is like 95% uh, in test conditions. Uh, the cruising speed is 120 to 140, 50 kilometers per hour. Speaking about the, the copter, the upper part of the copter is removed and it can be placed on, uh, on the copter itself and it becomes a multi-copter which can carry numerous types of payloads, for example, medications, food, bombs, and uh, magazines, uh, like ammo, you name it. And this copter is also capable to see everything uh, that surrounds it. And it will be um, able to operate um, like uh, on the same ranges as, um, uh, as ST-35. This is also um, at, uh, currently in development. This is uh, the unique feature because we are trying to create not just separate products, but uh, kind of an ecosystem which will be easily controlled and uh, reconnected between each other without any additional equipment. Ground control station can be used to operate both types of uh, Furies, our ST-35 and our multi-copter. One control station is designed to control one drone because if we could control several drones uh, with uh, one station, it will envisage that we will, uh, they will need to have a mesh uh, connection which is not uh, secure. Connection and frequencies and jamming is the main problem on the battlefield and believe me, Ukrainian drones are uh, the best drones because we are facing one of the strongest enemies you can face and they uh, constantly learn from us and they, we learn from them and constantly trying to outsmart each other when it comes to uh, communication. Mikhail Kuzma, I am a Director of Business Development. Uh, I would like to introduce you about uh, Varta 2. Varta 2 is an armored combat vehicle uh, with uh, independent suspension. Uh, we produce it in the very reliable chassis uh, based uh, with independent suspension with uh, Cummins engine and uh, gearbox Ellison. This is vehicle have a body monocoque. We have this vehicle without frame. Uh, with this case, we can in, uh, increase uh, pr protection level up to stomach level 3, uh, mine protection stomach level 3, and ballistic protection stomach level 3. Uh, also, we have a remotely controlled weapon station, 30 mm cannon, with 7.62 mm machine, uh, machine guns. Uh, first, this vehicle uh, we provide for personal carrier, but also they can provides some help for in uh, a lot of uh, combat situation for uh, a lot of forces. We have also anti-drone systems from Ukraine, a comp a company Quartus name. This is vehicle for 10 uh, crew, 10 uh, personals, for driver, commanders, machine gunners, and seven people for crew. Rear C6C is a 
face to face and for and two for front seats, uh, five or four front seats is uh, face to up to front. Maximum speed is 110 kilometers. Range is a uh, minimum 500 kilometers. This is a design look like uh, Varta, but uh, this is our company design for our vehicles. And this is vehicles four by four. This is an UGV pro name protector. We produce it for transportation, uh, some goods, to battlefield line, transportation drones for launch from the safety place in dangerous uh, area. This is UGV have very uh, protected signal, multi-canal uh, signal with uh, uh, protected video signal and uh, radio signals. Uh, we can control it from some uh, control box, uh, like uh, from uh, small control box and and big control box like for. Uh, UGA. Uh, this is UGA have a uh, diesel engine because this is very cheap solution. Uh, and uh, we, this is engine have 119 horsepower and uh, maximum range up to uh, 500 kilometers. Distance for control is uh, from 10 kilometers up to 15 kilometers. It depends on uh, area. This is first prototype. After the exhibition, we will provide government test.